All right, kiddos, let's get started with uh, today's worksheet. So the practice problems, it's domain and range of exponential functions. Practice day two um, is asking for the domain and range of all these different functions. So I hope you watch the video. There's kind of a, not a trick, but a way to tell uh, how to do this uh, domain and range without even plugging it into your calculator just by looking at the equation. Uh, that's also what the uh, Google Classroom question is about. So let's get started. Number one, uh, for the domain, it is a theoretical equation, so it is all real numbers. And our range is uh, because A is positive, we know it's Y is greater than, and then Y is greater than C, or what it, Y is greater than the asymptote, which is negative four. Uh, number two, for our domain, once again, we have all real numbers because it doesn't say Ricky, Bobby, Tommy, Susie, or a ball, an arrow, a population, money, nothing like that. For our range, we know that Y is gonna be less than because A is negative. It's gonna be a negative one up front there, right? So that negative uh, value up front tells us that it's Y is less than, Y is less than what? Y is less than positive three. Uh, number three, we have our domain again, which is all real numbers and sound like a broken record here. And then we have a positive A for uh, our equation. So we know that our range will be Y is greater than, and then Y is greater than our asymptote at positive eight. Number four says, what is the range of the exponential function? So same thing, same song, different verse. Number four, it's asking for the range. And we know that it is going to be y is greater than because we have a positive one up front or a positive 120 up front. And then uh, our asymptote is zero. So y is greater than zero. All right, uh, number five, the graph of y equals is two to the power of x plus three shown below. What is the range of two to the power of x plus three? Well, you can see it in the graph. And uh, so number five, our range you can just look at the equation or you can look at the graph. Um, y is greater than because our A is positive. Y is greater than three because that is where our asymptote is. That is our C. Okay. Do you see how it goes up forever and ever and ever and ever? So uh, the graph to this has one, two, three. That's kind of the asymptote right here at three. And it kind of goes yay forever. So, uh, number six, number six says, what is the domain? We don't even really need to pay attention to anything else. The domain is, as long as it's a theoretical situation, the domain is going to be all real numbers, all right? Um, let's see. So we, for five, we have, or for four, we have, what is that? Four, we have D. And for five, we have is greater than three C and for six we have all real numbers which is D oops no colons all right number seven the graph of f of x equals one half to the power of x that is uh, exponential decay but it's a positive one up front right our a is positive look at the equation it says f of x is equal to one half to the power of x. Our a is a positive one. So we know that our range, that's what it's asking about now. What is the range of this equation? For seven, our range will be y is greater than, y is greater than what? y is greater than the asymptote, which is zero. What's another way of saying y? It's f of x. So f of x is greater than zero, which gives us d for seven. All right, number eight, what is the domain? We don't even have to really do anything with this one. I'm really sounding like a broken record by now. Uh, it is all real numbers because um, it is it is a theoretical problem. There's nothing that says real, wor real world about that problem. Number nine, number nine said, what is the range? So once again, we're going right back to why is greater than because it's a positive 72 up front and there's nothing added to the back. So that's y is greater than zero. But this one says g of x instead of y. So we're going to say g of x is greater than zero, which is c. 
All right. What is the range of the exponential function? What is the range of the exponential function? D is trying to be tricky. Uh, D says f of x is equal to negative 14 times 0.8 to the power of x minus 2. We're only looking at that symbol and at that number. Okay? That symbol says y is less than. That number says negative 2. That's exactly how we do this problem. We look for that. If it's minus or if it's a negative up front, it's less than. If it's positive up front, it's greater than. And then whatever this back number is right here, that is our asymptote. So y is less than negative 2 or f of x is less than negative 2, which is c. All right, number 11, the final question in a record-setting short video of just over six minutes. How would the domain of the function uh, go from y equals 16 times 0.75? We talked about this briefly in the lesson for today. How would it be affected if it were changed to y equals negative 16 times 0.75 to the power of x? So we know that this one, if we did the range for this one, we have a positive value up here, so it's y is greater than and then nothing added on to the back, so it's y is greater than zero. This one is a negative, so it's y is less than. Nothing added on to the back, so that's also zero. So it would change from y is greater than zero to y is less than zero, which says D. Y is greater than zero, y is less than zero. So we have a final uh, answer is all of this right here for one, two, three. And then four is D. 5 is C, 6 is D, 7 is D, 8 is D, 9 is C, 10 is C, 11 is D, and we are done. Y'all have a wonderful day. Talk to you tomorrow.